feature me and everyone gets cookies. D and you get appreciation and credit for having this amazing channel. Hey guys, if you write a nice comment under the latest video you get the chance to be shown in the next video. Tour guides of Reddit, what's the worst thing a tourist has ever done under your supervision? Former white water rafting guide, there's a calmer section of the river people can, if they choose to, hop out and swim through. They are wearing life jackets, so you can just float through it. This woman decides she wants to try it and hops out. After she pops up she slowly tilts forward until just the back of her jacket is out of the water and she's completely still. After 5 or so seconds of this, I start to realize this might not be intentional, and paddle over and physically pick her head up above the water, followed by her gasping for air. I haul her in the boat, and ask what happened. She said she didn't know what to do as she'd never been submerged in water before 1. Why are you on a white water rafting trip? 2. Why didn't your strategy involve moving your body? I worked at a living history farm museum. I had a kid that was climbing on stuff the whole tour in the farmhouse and trying to get behind the smith in the blacksmith shop during a demo. After the tour, when people are allowed to roam the grounds, I hear his mom screaming and look over to the barn and this kid has climbed the fence into the field with our longhorn oxen and is trying to poke them with a stick. I walk over and calmly told him to get out of the field before our lazy oxen decide they've had enough, but this jackoff decides to look me in the eye and smack Ted on the ass with the stick, like it's a riding crop. Ted, bless him, just kinda jumps a little and whips his head around with a WTF dude look on his face. But seeing as he's a longhorn, he just wipes this kid out with one of his horns when he turned his head. Kid goes flying into the dirt and is having a meltdown. Mom is freaking out. I'm like dude, get the hell out of the pen before Ted actually gets mad. So this kid is crying and trying to climb the fence out of the field and Bill, who has been watching this whole thing waits until the kid is almost over the fence and walks up to him and nudges him in the with his nose and pushes him off the top of the fence. It was everything I could do to keep from laughing. Kid was fine, Ted was fine, but the kid and his mom were promptly kicked out of the museum. Their dad and little sister were allowed to stay because she was well behaved and was just enjoying petting the goats at the petting zoo. So since the kid had to leave, but his sister didn't there was a temper tantrum in the parking lot that could be heard all the way to the other side of the farm. But the oxen got some extra grain that night, so I guess they won in the end. I work at a brewery taproom and take people on brewery tours. During fermentation CO2 is produced and excess comes out through a runoff pipe and into a water bucket. One of the attendees, who was being a pain and trying to be funny but nobody was laughing, asked me what the pipe was for, so I gladly explained. He then asked what would happen if he breathed it in. In disbelief of his stupidity I told him he would pass out slash damage his brain. He then proceeded to grab the pipe and take a breath. He was then ejected and barred. Some people are just beyond belief. Saw a kid chip off a piece of an expensive sculpture he was playing with in the restricted area and his parents didn't bother at it. Just to clarify, I don't work as a tour guide, I was just a member of the tour. I also did not get to see if the family had to pay any penalty or fine. Tour guide at a university. Small group gets into our gardens where there's a big turtle pond. Girl gets excited and wants a close up of the largest snapping turtle. Girl loses her phone to the turtle and tries to get the university to buy her a new one. Girl was lucky she still has all her fingers. Saw a kid knock over a set of replica Civil War rifles that were on display and then his mom got mad at the tour guide for yelling at him. The kid and his mom were kicked off the Civil War tour. Couple of guys I used to play cricket with went on a school trip to Auschwitz and decided to steal a small pair of glasses and some buttons they found half buried in the ground. They were detained by Polish police while they were leaving the site. Hard to know what goes through people's heads sometimes. My cousin is a tourist guide and biologist, most of his tours are in Africa. He instructed his group of 20 to 25 people including kids not to wear any type of earrings or collars especially shiny stuff, since they were about to go into a thick forest to try to see a bunch of animals. 
this is very important because 20 to 25 make a lot of noise which makes wild animals run away or hide. It's even worse if they are wearing shiny stuff they can spot from far away. Okay so this woman complains, decides to wear shiny earrings anyway, cousin tells her to get rid of them, or she ain't coming with the group so she obeys, but puts them on a bit later. Some species of monkeys in that area love shiny stuff. They rip the earrings from her ears. Edit. Okay I wasn't ready for the inbox nukes. Yes my username makes everyone cringe. Shaving your teeth is a truly enlightening experience. Make sure to sleep properly, so you don't wake up too tired and end up picking your razor instead of your toothbrush when you brush slash shave your teeth. D. Not a tour guide per se, park interpreter, but once had a lady with a thick New York accent try and pet a black bear. Technically not a tourist guide, but I was doing a tour of our production facility to some people from head office. As we got to one of the pallet outfeeds, I mentioned the light curtain which was a safety feature that stopped the conveyors once the light was broken, and so for some damn reason one of the ladies decides to stick her hand through the light to test it, stopping the production line, and also risking her safety by doing it in the first place. I asked her not to do that again, and went about resetting the machine to start up again. No more than 3 seconds after doing, so she stuck her hand through the curtain again stopping everything. She looked at me with the most stupid expression on her face as I basically said what the f**k. To this day I don't know why she did it, or what her deal was. We are pretty good at stopping tourists from doing too much damage. After being in the industry for a while you get a spit a sense for when people are going to do dumb things and can often steer them away from doing anything too bad. That being said, here's one of my favorite stories to tell. I was 7 months pregnant and it was the week before I went on maternity leave. I was driving out to one of our sites and to get there I had to drive, on the road of course, through our penguin colony. This particular species of penguin burrows underground and stays hidden in their burrow during the day and comes out at night when birds of prey and other potential predators have gone to sleep. As I'm driving out to the site I realize the parking lot up ahead is full and people have started parking up and down the road. And that's when I see a giant sub pull off the road, drive between the bollards, and into the penguin colony. I pull over as what seems like 20 non-English speaking tourists start to pile out of the vehicle and take selfies with the ocean backdrop. Staying as calm as possible and using sign language I point out the no entry signs of the bollards they drove past, the burrows they have just collapsed, inform them they may have killed penguins and to get their f vehicle out of the f colony. Once I got them out of there I started digging out the collapsed burrows to check for penguins. The first four were luckily empty, but the last one had a breeding pair. I get the girl out, check her over for injuries, and having nowhere else to put her I follow protocol and tuck her under my left arm against my side. I get the boy out, and put him in the same position on the right side, and start to check him over. Remember how I said I was pregnant? Well normally, you hold a penguin down low almost on your hip, but because of my round tummy I was holding him more at the bottom of my ribcage. So when I turned my head to start my health check, the bastard reached up and grabbed my top lip with his beak and ripped straight through the middle. It was about this time that the tourists walking along the road realized this ranger was holding on to two penguins. I had 5 or 6 tourists sprint through the colony towards me and start snapping pictures while at the same time potentially collapsing more burrows. If any internet sleuths stumble across a picture of a heavily pregnant, pissed off looking ranger, holding two penguins with blood pouring down her face let me know. I've been waiting for that picture to show up for 3 years and haven't found it yet. Happy ending, I chased away the photographers, popped the two uninjured penguins in a nearby unoccupied burrow and radioed for backup to help with the parking situation. My lip healed without a scar, and both penguins left the following morning for a well-deserved day in the ocean. TL. Doctor signage is there for a reason. Rules are there for a reason. If you don't know what the reason is, doesn't mean you should break the rules. Edits. Real TL. Doctor tourists drove over penguin burrows. No penguins were harmed in the making of this story. Just. Glad people seem to appreciate the work we do with these super cute, vicious, and smelly animals. They're worth every ounce of blood, sweat, and tears.